Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation? Solution from here. And what we have here, it takes 10 raised to the power 6 to the left hand side, and we have x raised to the power 6 minus 7 raised to the power 6, then equals to 0 here. And next step, we can rewrite this as x raised to the power 3, or raised to the power 2, as 2 times 3 gives us 6 minus also 7 raised to the power 3, or raised to the power 2, then equals to zero here and this follows when we have a squared minus b squared with the same thing as a plus b into brackets then open brackets a minus b as this here a standing as x raised to power 3 and b standing as 7 raised to power 3 which implies from here what we have becomes x raised to power 3 plus 7 raised to power 3 into bracket, open bracket, x raised to power 3, minus 7 raised to power 3, close bracket, equals to 0 here. Then here, we have two possible cases. The first one, x raised to power 3, plus 7 raised to power 3, equals to 0, or we have x raised to power 3, minus 7 raised to power 3, equals to 0 here. And solving on this side, this follows when we have a raised to power 3 plus b raised to power 3 with the same thing as a plus b into bracket, open bracket, a square minus a b plus b square. At this here, we have x plus 7 into bracket, then open bracket, x square minus 7x plus 7 square close bracket equals to 0 here which also same thing as x plus 7 into brackets open bracket x square minus 7x plus 49 close bracket equals to 0 here then we have two possible cases here first one x plus 7 equals to 0 or we have x square minus 7x plus 49 equals to zero here then solving here this gives us x equals to minus seven which is a real solution here and here we have a quadratic equation where he equals to one b equals to minus seven and c equals to 49 then Applying the quadratic formula, which is x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. Then what we have becomes x equals to minus minus 7 plus or minus square root of minus 7 squared minus 4 times 1 times 49 all over 2 times 1. That is, here we have x equals to minus times minus as plus. We have 7 plus or minus square root of minus 7 squared as 49. Then minus 4 times 1 times 49. And still use that 4 times 30, 49. Then over 2 here. The next step, we have x equals to 7 plus or minus square root of 49 is common here. We have 49 into brackets or minus 4 here and over 2. That is, this becomes x equals to 7 plus or minus square root of 49 times or minus 4 as minus 3 over 2. That is, when we have root a times b and separate this as root a times root b then also here we have x equals to 7 plus or minus root 49 times root minus 3 over 2 which becomes x equals to 7 plus or minus root 49 that's 7 with minus 3 can write as root 3 i over 2 that is here we have two complex solutions. Then, solving from the second case here, this also follows. And we have a raised to power 3 
minus b raised to the power 3, which is equals to a minus b into bracket, open bracket, a square plus ab plus b square. But this here, what we have becomes x minus 7 into bracket, bracket x square plus 7x plus 7 square close bracket equals to 0 here. And this is the same thing as x minus 7 into brackets, open bracket x square plus 7x plus 49 close bracket equals to 0 here. And here we have two possible cases. First one, x minus 7 equals to 0. Or we have x square plus 7x plus 49 equals to 0 here. And solving on this side, we have x equals to 7, which is also a resolution. Then here, we have a quadratic equation. We are here equals to 1, b equals to 7, and c equals to 49. Then, applying the quadratic formula, we have x equals to minus 7 plus or minus square root of 7 square minus 4 times 1 times 49. Then over 2 times 1, which implies we have x equals to minus 7 plus or minus square root of 7 square, that's 49, minus 4 times 1 times 49, we can leave it as 4 times 49, then over 2 here, which implies x equals to minus 7 plus or minus square root of 49 is common here, we have 49, then into bracket, 1 minus 4, left here, over 2. Then, yeah, we can write this as x equals to minus 7 plus or minus square root of 49, then 1 minus 4 minus 3, over 2. But this, here we have x equals to minus 7 plus or minus, when we have root a, is b. I write it as root a and root b. Here we have root 49 and root minus 3 over 2. That is x equals to minus 7 plus or minus root 49, that's 7. And root minus 3, that's root 3 i over 2. That is also we have two complex solutions. Yeah. And therefore, altogether in this problem, we have six solutions here, two real solutions here, two complex solutions here, and two complex solutions here. And thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell. Share this video with thumbs up with your comments. See you next class and bye for now.